hello friends so in the last session uh, we had concluded that there are nine points nine points uh, within the triangle or on the triangle uh, through which a circle passes and that circle was called nine point circle we saw that in the previous session and in this session we are going to find out the relationship between the radius of this in this nine point circle and the circum center of or circum radius of the given triangle abc and uh, we have to prove that the radius of the nine point circle is half the circum radius of the triangle abc let's try and prove this in this session in uh, doing so we will also end up proving that the center of this nine point circle actually lies on the euler line of the triangle and what is euler line guys the line joining the ortho center and the circum center of a triangle is called the euler line and uh, we will be seeing that the center of the nine point circle also lies on the same euler line okay so first thing to be you know uh, proved over here is if you see triangle abc let's consider triangle abc so uh, we have triangle ABC, triangle ABC, and triangle DEF. Okay, let's consider these two triangles DEF. Now, if you see these two are similar triangles, we have proved it all, you know, already because this is a medial triangle. If you see DEF is a medial triangle, and we know that DF is equal to half of A. C DF is equal to half AC midpoint theorem midpoint theorem and similarly DE is equal to half of AB half of AB and uh, EF is half of BC right so by SSS criteria by SSS criteria we can prove that triangle abc is similar to triangle def right this would this proof will be needed in you know our larger objective over here so abc is triangle abc is similar to def now if you look closely triangle def def is actually congruent to triangle g I J right so G is opposite to D I is opposite to E and J is opposite to opposite to F right and why is this why is this because we know that in the previous session we proved that D F J G is a rectangle rectangle hence hence we know that FD will be equal to GJ. Similarly, there are two more rectangles. You can check the previous session that um, you know there are three rectangles in this figure. Uh, one, then two, and third one was this. All right, so three rectangles and basis that you can prove. Similarly, you can prove that um, FE, right? So, similarly, you can prove that FE, FE is equal to IJ, IJ, and um, the third side, what is left? GI, yeah. So, GI, GI is equal to ED. So hence, by SSS congruency criteria, this holds. DEF is congruent to GIJ. Correct? Now let me just take away these highlights so that the figure is clear. Yeah. Okay. Now, so once, uh, keep this in mind that these two triangles are congruent. This one and this one. Right? Please keep this in your mind. Now. Let's let's consider uh, 
now let me do it here now if you see in it was given that bm bm now it was given that bm is perpendicular to ac it's an altitude bm was altitude similarly oe oe is perpendicular to ac why because oe was the perpendicular bisector of ac by the way if i forgot to mention this in the in this session i had mentioned in the previous one o is the circumcenter guys so i'm just writing here o is the circumcenter o is the circumcenter circumcenter of abc okay o is the circumcenter of abc sir what is circumcenter circumcenter is point of intersection of all perpendicular bisectors so bm is clearly uh, bm is perpendicular to ac and oe is perpendicular to ac so hence bm is perpendicular to oe i'm sorry parallel to oe hence we can say that h i k is equal to is equal to g is equal to uh, angle o e k alternate interior angles correct now um, if you see h happens to be h is the h what is h h is the ortho center ortho center of triangle a b c as well as as well as triangle um a uh, i g j or i g j why because if you see these are all 90 degrees this is 90 this is 90 this is 90 i'm sorry not that one so yeah this one and this one all are 90 degrees why because gj was parallel to ac and this is 90 this is also 90 and this is also 90 so hence h happens to be ortho center of both abc as well as igj why because if you see ortho center is nothing but point of concurrence of all altitudes so h happens to be the point of concurrence of all altitudes of not only abc but also igj so h is the ortho center of abc and igj similarly o is the o is the ortho center of triangle e d e f o is the ortho center of triangle d e f why because o if you see this is perpendicular bisector so this is 90 and gj was parallel to ac so this is 90 as well and similarly this is 90 and ij is parallel to bc so hence this is also 90 okay so hence clearly yeah o is the ortho center of def now since triangle def is congruent to triangle um what was that d um g i j g i j therefore the distance between one of the vertices vertices and the ortho center in respective triangles will also be same so hence h i or in this case it is o e o e o e is the distance between vertex e and the ortho center will be equal to in this case vertex h sorry um ortho center h and the corresponding side i right so o e is equal to h i right why because since these two triangles are congruent so hence the distance between the respective ortho center and the vertices corresponding vertices will also be equal so oe is equal to hi okay oe is equal to hi now consider triangle ihk ihk and triangle um eok eok so what do we know in these two triangles i know that h i k is equal to o e k we just proved above here 
alternate interior angles then uh, clearly i k a uh, angle i k h is equal to angle o k i k h is equal to e k o sorry e k o vertically opposite angle right e k o and we just proved that i h is equal to o e we just proved here correct therefore by a a s congruence criteria triangle i h k is congruent to triangle e o k i h k is congruent to e o k correct right that means therefore i can say h k is equal to o k right so that means h k is equal to o k and and i k is equal to e k c p c t both right c p c t right so that means what does it prove it proves first of all that k is the midpoint of mid point of h k h o sorry and what was h o h o is nothing but h is the ortho center and o is the circum center of triangle abc if you notice carefully so k is the midpoint of h o and k is the midpoint of i e that means k is the mid point of i e and what was i e if you remember in the previous session i e was the dia of the nine point circle right so hence k is the center of k is the center of nine point circle right k is the center of nine point circle and you can see the nine point circle is the circum circle of triangle which is i am writing which is the circum circle of triangle def as well right k is the center of nine point circle which is the circum circle of def right therefore ratio of circum radius circum radius of triangle def and or rather let me write it like this circum radius of triangle def divided by circum radius of triangle abc abc will be equal to nothing but by the law of similarity de by de what is the de yeah de by ab de by ab isn't it right so two similar triangles since we have two similar triangles so hence it will be de by ab so if there are two similar triangles all their corresponding uh, sides altitudes medians um circum radii all are proportional and hence it is equal to 1 by 2 right right so hence we can say we can conclude circum radius or rather radius of radius of 9 point circle is equal to 1 by 2 times r and r is circum radius of triangle abc okay hence proved so i hope you understood the theorem so i would suggest you just uh, you know go through it once again you will get the entire method of this proof